the mothership of autumnal decor. Let's head on in. Trying to not spend and buy anything unnecessarily, and you and us the same. Oh dear, what's going in basket? What <laughs> the go? I'm gonna get one of these. How has this happened? <laughs> I get a bit creeped out by things like this. Right, you do not, so. It's the sensible one who gets it back, and the one who's... <laughs> Guys, we're exhausted. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Hello, dears. Hello there, how are we all? Welcome back to a very special vlog. I look forward to these vlogs every single year. I'm with you, and we're in, I'm in brown. I, I thought I'd dress some oh, more. Oh, and I've gone to summer. No, because it's very warm. Got my sunnies. I was so excited. So as you can tell by the title, we are back and we are going to be doing some autumnal browsing. I nearly browsing. said shopping, mm. but every single year, for as long as I can remember now, you and I have been coming to Greenwich Resale Park because it is the home of Home Sense. And then lots of, of sense. Yeah, home of sense. And lots of other lovely little shops as well. And it's, I was just saying this on you and stuff, it's really changed, but there's so many good ones like Matalan, Home Bargains here, obviously Home Sense, TK Mac. So we're gonna have a little browse of what is new in for Awesome 2023. <laughs> And there'll be the usual shenanigans along the way. Oh, yeah. Get a little coffee. Oh, yes, please. It's going to be good. I am really trying to not spend and buy anything unnecessarily, and you and us the same, because when you've been collecting autumnal decor, yeah. for as long as we have, you're kind of like... I've got a stash. Yeah. There's a lot. And we were just speaking about like candles and stuff. You really don't always burn a full pumpkin spice candle, so you end up with lots of dribs and drabs of yeah. lovely candles, so... We're just going to have a look. So if you are maybe looking to get some autumnal bits, or if you've just moved house, you want to buy something for a present, or you're just autumn fall obsessed, then this might be a nice video to watch and you can uh, pop to your local store, wherever that is. So yeah, we've set a banana. We've fueled up. I'm ready to go. I know, I might need a coffee in a bit. I was just thinking that. I'm a bit spaced out. We haven't, even, we haven't even started shopping. Oh, I'm like, yeah, uh, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a vlog. So Ewan is also vlogging too, and Ooh. you've been doing loads of little bits and bobs, haven't you? So recently, you've mm. gone to uh, Primark, right? Yes, they had some great stuff in there. And, and yeah. where, where else have you been? I feel like you've done another one. Have you, or is it just Primark so far? Where have I been? <laughs> <laughs> Where haven't you been? You've been... I forget. Yeah. I forget what I've been to and what I've vlogged and what I haven't vlogged. Let me think. You and this channel will be linked down below because I know there's a couple of new people who've joined recently and um, yeah, all of the lovely automobile videos will be there too. So uh, yeah, wherever you've been. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Primark. Yeah. And they've got some good bits they in. Do, so we'll do. skip Primark here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Home sense first. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's go. Right. The mothership of autumnal decor. Let's head on in. Ah. Oh. <laughs> straight in and they've got some very lovely browns and rusts which i think is going to be a very reoccurring theme here this is so nice we've looked at these before they're like an ottoman style i think they're like a bench seat there we are very good for storage we did look at one of these before we found our first still but i love this this is 199 very good and i've just tested it out it's lovely quality thumbs up for me very nice that's a very nice pumpkin i enjoy that a lot 7.99, it's like a rustic feel. That's cool. Some lovely little four bits here. This ceramic pumpkin is so nice. You can pop a candle in there as well. That's lovely. Very cool. It's like a gothic display cabinet. I like that a lot. Some Halloween throws. These are very nice. 14.99. That's a really nice quality as well. It's lovely and thick. And we've got them in cushions as well. 14.99 too. That's a cool print, isn't it? I like that. Reed diffusers, vanilla pumpkin reed diffuser, $5.99. I'm sure that'll smell lovely in a pumpkin patch one as well. It's got a little pumpkin emblem on, that's quite cute. I like that. I love snow globes, they are so cool. I love that. That is $14.99. One doesn't glow, but that is very cool. They've got loads, really well stocked. Some larger ones down here as well. Wow, I quite like that. A little bit more subtle. Wasser globe. Maybe German? That's very interesting. I like that. Look at that. Wow. I think that one actually does light up. That's very cool. They're not short of glitter pumpkins this year, that's for sure. They've got 
so many. They're all around $7.99, $9.99 for the slightly larger ones. Look at those. Nice tea light holders as well for $5.99. Ceramic. Spiced pumpkin hand painted. Very nice. These owls are cool too, and one with a witch's hat on. Really nice. $5.99 too. It's not badly priced, is it? If you want to just do like a subtle Halloween decor, these are a great option. Some seasonal decor tea towels. Oh, that's nice. The little frill detail. And the patches. These are good with tassels. I like these. These are more Ewan style, I'd say. That's actually quite yeah, similar to the print of the mug you got me. Do you remember with oh, the Labrador yeah. on it? Yeah, it's yeah. very nice. If you, where are the candles? Where? Oh, there they are. Ho -ho. Home sense do autumnal candles so well. Look at this. And how amazing is that? It's a little haunted house with a ceramic lid. I love that. And we've got some different ones here. Some new designs as well. A new brands. Christian Serrano. Very cool. But some really nice subtle fall decor as well. So if you're not into like the ghouls and ghosts and that kind of thing, but you want a little touch to autumn, these are all ceramic pumpkins and lovely. They come in a set of three for $9.99. So you've got like a nice sage, a pink and a cream. I feel like this pumpkin at the minute, damaged but adorable. <laughs> it's just missing its stalk. You could easily DIY something to add that on. It's only three pounds. These felt pumpkins are definitely quite popular this year, aren't they? I'm seeing them in lots of different shops. They are four ninety nine. There's such a nice mix here. Really, really lovely. A little nightshade bottle. Something for everyone, I would say. Oh, some more ceramic pumpkins. These are a bit more fun. They've got faces on them. And look at these. These are little wicker. I'm gonna say, are they pumpkins? But maybe a different vegetable. I'm not sure, but they are very nice. I like them. And then this one as well. This is $16.99. Another indoor or outdoor from Vietnam. I like that a lot. We've even got some Halloween gonks for $9.99. <laughs> My mum would love that. She loves gonks. She collects quite a few. More of a seasonal for Christmas, but I like that. And another velvet pumpkin here. That one's very nice. That's $7.99. Not too badly priced. And obviously with these, you can reuse them every single year. These are great if you're wanting to throw like a, oh, whoops, a Halloween party and just throwing them on the floor. They're yeah, very nice. You know, I like a napkin. They're so fun if you're doing a little party. You've got some nice little different designs as well. Love that. Got a good selection of Halloween plates as well. If you are doing a Halloween party, they're not as big in the UK as they are in America. I know a lot of you guys love your Halloween parties, but yeah, we, we don't have that many here, but very nice if you were to host one. Lots of different options. Now that is a bit of you, and oh, have you showed it. that already? No, I haven't. Oh seen my god, yet. Look. It's, very, it's very different yeah. to um. Are on black cats supposed to be like bad luck or good luck? Seven ninety nine. I think is it if they cross cross your path? path. Yeah, that's it. it. Doesn't really. It's more of a um like a feline that one, isn't it? I yeah. Think pumpkin and mittens are. I love your cats, I really do. <laughs> I thought we'd seen all the pumpkins, guys, but I think I found my favourite one. I love this. This is six ninety nine. Martha Stewart is back, but she's got some seasonal decor for autumn. That is so cool. I love that. It's a ceramic one. That's going to be quite expensive, I imagine. Let's have a look. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, that's been twelve ninety nine. That is not bad. It's like Dear the Dead style Mexican vibe. I love that. Mm. Doing some candle sniffing. Oh, I love the Sand and Fog brand. They're really nice. Quite a natural scent. That one is Californian coarse, but it's got like a lovely like spicy undertone. Gorgeous. Quite cool. Fun lids and twisting around. Is that quite mesmeric? Mmm. <laughs> oh, smells like popcorn and like mm, amazing. It's taken every ounce of me not to buy one. <laughs> Some Martha Stewart pumpkin candles here as well. Double wick burners. You keep the ceramic jar that comes in as well. And they are only $9.99. Home Sense has had a bit of a switch around, so everything that used to be upstairs is now down, and I feel like they've got more space down here. So they've got some lovely, like, drinkware, some cups here, some skeleton cups and mugs, more cat themed ones. That's nice, where the tail is the handle. I like that. $4.99. I think the prices are still really reasonable, obviously, in line with everything going up. It's um, nice to see some things that are still somewhat affordable. I like these glasses as well, they are very much up my street, $4.99. Idea of the Dead cookie jar, now that is fancy, I 
like that a lot. Ewan's just said he's going to look out for one of these glug glug drugs when he goes to the car boot sale. So this is the cheapest I've ever seen them for £20, but it's definitely not a now thing, but I really love them. These placemats have just caught my eye. I really, really love those with the checkerboard design. How nice are they? Such a gorgeous color. They've got them in like a mustard and then a red. Love those. And they've got a nice tablecloth here as well. Summer autumnal, gorgeous colors. Tari home, nice gingham one here as well. Penguin home, lovely. And then some gingham tea towels too. I think there's ways to inject autumn into your home without it being too in your face. I think they're a really nice way to do it. Non-seasonal, but I really like these espresso mugs. How lovely are they? They've got a gorgeous glaze on them. They are £10 for the whole set. I was just about to check out the clearance, but the clearance has well and truly been cleared. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Five ninety nine 99 and under. They've got some really nice Halloween and fall decor mugs. I like that orange skull. That's quite lovely. Big sizes as well. Very big sizes. Some Day of the Dead ones. More Day of the Dead. <laughs> and even one, is that a llama or alpaca? <laughs> if you do ever come to a TK Maxx home sense, check out the coffee beans because they're really good value and you can buy them in the larger bags. It works out cheaper per gram. That whole bag is 10 pounds. That'll be a kilo and a half. Uh, yeah, one kilogram, 10 pounds, really good going. I always get questions about the syrups I use in my coffee as well. I usually get them from HomeSense. They've got pumpkin cheesecake flavor here, and then they've got pumpkin praline pie, 4 .99. So nice to add into your coffees. Ewan was saying that he's kind of swaying away from candles just with the kittens, but there's some lovely, um, nice like autumnal reed diffusers here to check out. It's such nice packaging as well. I think they'd make a great gift. Right, I've lost Ewan, I found him. Spotted a lampshade. We're having a look upstairs now. We've had a big switch around, so we're not sure what's up here now. So I think it's much of the same. They've just thinned it out a little bit, so it's not so much, which is um, quite nice. It's a lot more space. You can browse quite well, but yeah. It's all like the home, home pieces, home storage. I really rate home sense for their storage for kitchens. It's really, really good quality, and it's very affordable as well. A good section of chopping boards, things like that. Lots of olive wood. I know a lot of you have kids as well, and some of them might be going to university this year, so definitely do check out HomeSense and TK Maxx because you can get some really good quality stuff. It's one thing I wish I did more of, but mine was obviously budget related. I just bought the cheapest stuff, and my mum bought a lot of it for me as well. It was all we could really afford. If I had my time again, I'd definitely come to somewhere like this where you can get really good brands that is slightly more, a little bit more expensive, but it will last rather than having to replace it. Just something that I found, but definitely do consider it. They've got little bits of autumnal foliage dotted around the store as well. This maple tree is quite nice. It looks quite realistic as well, doesn't it? I think if you pop that in a good pot, maybe like a rustic urn, it could look quite good. It's reduced as well. It's was 39, now it's 32. Some more clearance bits here as well. Gosh, some lovely bits here, some LSA. It's always good to keep an eye out on the clearance. What is that? That's six pounds. It's a little candle burner. Lovely. They're quite nice as well, those glass candlestick holders, £8. That's a very interesting piece of decor as well, £29 was 50 PTMD, I don't recognise that brand, but that is very interesting. A nice vase as well, that could be somewhat autumnal, couldn't it? Aphorism, uh, it's £10 instead of £12.99, not much of a saving, but still decent saving nonetheless. Not gonna lie, I really love this print. <laughs> that would be so nice to have on a doorway and an entrance. Fancy seeing you here. Love that. It's what me and my mum say to each other all the time. That's so nice. Guys, we're exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally, we were about to yeah, pay. <laughs> I said to you, and I was like, should we go for a coffee before we have a little, uh, little browse in the next shop? We aren't exhausted, but it's just like, it's a lot. We've just said it's nice to just take a minute. We're in no rush. I've got no Maggie today. She's been looked oh. after by Zara's parents. Oh, she so. and Devin. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't have to rush back for her. Oh. So we could just fully chill and, like, you know, just nice. take the weight off, which yeah. is very nice. Got some little sandwiches and some coffees, my classic car. Caramel mock, which is always delightful, and blue roll because they run out of napkins. <laughs> so, we've just finished up our coffees, and Zara said Matalan is really good for fall and autumnal decor, so let's have a look in. So, we just popped into Matalan, and Zara was right, they've got some lovely fall bits. This is a nice little candle centerpiece that is 
very, very nice, but Ewan has just said that he's got a wreath from Primark that is a lot cheaper than £30 and very similar quality, so definitely something to consider if you are buying a festive wreath. But they've got some nice autumnal colours, and this pumpkin print is really, really nice. They've got it in a cushion. This rust is so classic of autumn, and I think it's very lovely. And I enjoy this a lot with the flocked pumpkin design. Really nice. The cushions are nine pounds, they're not too bad. Slightly cheaper garland for 19, but still quite expensive. There's some more clearance bits here. They've got some nice glass jars. They're just missing the handle. They are three pound fifty. And Ewan just saw this kitchen shelf with hooks for three pound fifty as well. It's actually really, really good. I like that with the bits on the bottom. You could do tea towels or anything really. Right, we are at the Mothership Home Bargains. We absolutely love it here. This is the one in Charlton Resale Park. It's huge, fairly recently opened as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna get some household bits in here. Ewan's getting a trolley, getting involved. Do you have a pound, mate? I think so. You got a quid, do you? Got a trolley, we've just got one of the trolley tokens. <laughs> Brilliant news. We uh, never have a pound. 39p and some pocket tissues as well. So we've been in once, <laughs> we're gonna go in again. Let's go. Shall I push trolley, do you? Here we go. Just saying on Ewan's vlog, I'm gonna get some Kylie Rose if they've got it because it's really good. She's probably one of the only celebrity vino people that's actually got good wine, in my opinion. And she's a sparkling version as well. Anyway, let's head on in. Oh dear, pushing one handed is tricky. <laughs> this is where Home Bargains comes into its own. 5.19 and they've got the stain removal as well. I'm gonna get some of these. I have to buy the fairy because it's good for my sensitive skin, so I've got some dental hygiene and some fairy. These noodles are really good as well. They're usually three, yeah, three for, oh, oh, oh God, oh, Luke. So I just broke the store. Anyway, I'm gonna get some of these noodles because they are really delicious. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I love Branston pickle and I've never had Branston baked beans, so I'm gonna get a can of those to try them out. Have you ever had Branston baked beans? No? Pickly. Uh, does, that, does that tickle your pickle or not? Because I might, I might give them a go. They're quite expensive for one can, but they're nice. Who knows? I'm gonna give them a try. It is nearly the end of August, but Christmas I can't get on board with just yet. Halloween I can entertain somewhat. Actually, really, really creepy masks. You would just saw some of these. Oh, God. That's quite a similar nose to me, to be fair. Me and my large nose. Oh dear, what's going in basket? What's going in basket? What for Gary the Ghost? Gary, is that what it's called? Gary the Ghoul. Ghouly Ghost. I love how I put in Branston pickle beans and noodles and we've got a ghost now. <laughs> what's happening? Last one, there's only two. <gasps> so, do you seen these before and you knew you wanted oh one? Mind. There you yeah. go. So, you're a nose. Like Why do I feel like the kittens are going to love that? They're gonna be obsessed. I'll go underneath it. Yeah, they will. They will. <laughs> I get a bit creeped out by things like this. Like, that's quite scary, isn't it? They've got some nice little DIY things. You can paint your own ceramics here. And then you and just spotted this crochet your own pumpkin kit. That'd be nice. If you know how to do that, that could be a cool little DIY project. Some nice little ceramic gorse balls in here. I actually quite like that. That is $2.99. That's such a good price. Pumpkin mugs for $2.99. Some larger glass ones too. Subtle. I do subtle. I like the white ones too. Very interesting price comparison. This would definitely be more expensive in home sense. This is $5.99. That is a good dupe of the Storb ones. If you've ever seen the Storb pumpkin casserole dishes. $16.99, they're definitely more expensive. I mean, might not be as good quality, but I can't actually comment on that because I've never used it, but it's cast iron. It's pretty good going. We've also got a ceramic cookie jar for $5.99. Right, you <laughs> do not. So, I was just saying, right, Halloween, I call them Halloweeners, but apparently they're treat, they used to trick or treat us. It's definitely what they're called, but I call them Halloweeners, like people who come around for the, yeah. I say it, Ket, but it's not Ket because I learned that when I moved down south. Ket actually means something different, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get one of these. Joining you and for a fiver, that's not bad going. I mean, I might get some sweets to put in. Let's have a look. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, now that's actually quite cool. I like that. You could probably fit more in there, couldn't you? Got little chocolate discs here for 99. Chocolate eyeballs. All sorts of bits and bobs. Lollies, sweets. I'm gonna hang fire on these because I probably will end up eating them. <laughs> Quality Street, is that Halloween themed? I'd say they're more Christmassy for sure. Oh, 
got little scarecrows. How nice are these? See, this is more like traditional autumnal decor that I like. Nothing too scary. Are you going down it? Are you doing it? No. You go oh, oh, oh. He's, go he's doing it. He's doing it. This is Christmas already. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm avoiding. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. That's me right now. It's too early for Christmas. I feel tired. <laughs> I'm still knackered from the last one. Thank you to the person who said that I need to get some antibacterial laundry detergent when we do the towels and bed linen. I never knew that was a thing. And this is 149. It's like a Jeep of the Dettol. So I'm gonna grab some of this. Oh, lavender fragrance. That might be nice. Kills 99.9% of bacteria. So even on 30 degree washers, because someone um, said I should wash my towels on 60, but it seems really hot, so yeah, I'm gonna get some of this. <laughs> I'm talking to the cleaning expert, Ewan knows his stuff, and he's he's a Daz guy, apparently the woman at the laundrette recommends it. I've got to stick with my fairy for my for my skin, but then Ewan's recommended the proper good stuff. I was buying cheap bleach, but he's like, Domestos is the one, so I'm listening to him for that. These little mugs are so nice, they're more seasonal than Halloween. We've got snuggle season with a little, I think that is a uh, squirrel. And then we've got ones here with a little badger on, warm and cozy. Just saw these little chopping boards. I actually think these are really good. The chopping boards we have are so big and bulky and sometimes they're really hard to move from counter space to um, to the oven area. And yeah, six ninety nine for that, it's not bad. Nice little trays of fab as well. Little mac and cheese pots, enamel small dishes, two ninety nine. Some more autumnal foliage here, $7.99. These reeds are lovely. You could definitely add to them as well if you wanted to. You could hot glue on some acorns or pine cones. Really nice, good starting point, $7.99. Oh, we've lost a leaf. <laughs> God, I'm wrecking everything in store today. And a nice autumnal garland as well, uh, $7.99 too. Guys, I, I think they've discontinued my Kylie Rose here. How dare they? Looking down it. oh, ah, ah, there it is. Honestly, take my word for it, it's delish. It's really, really good and, well yeah, if you try it, let me know, but I think it's lovely. Get in the bottle. How has this happened? <laughs> <laughs> we really needed this, didn't Just we? A Just a few essentials. Got a bleach, got a Kylie. Got a Kylie, let's not get them mixed up. <laughs> got Gary. Gary the ghoul. This has caught my eye. We've got some Chinese salt and pepper chili seasoning. Oh, I love anything like this. Ewan's just picked up some pickle lily. I love Branston pickle. But yeah, this is like for salt and pepper chips. Oh my God, I'm gonna get some. I don't even feel bad about it. I'm doing it. Two types of shoppers. The sensible one who gets it back and the one who's... <laughs> I'm just gonna sling all this in the boot. Kylie, I tried to pop you up many times. Gosh, Jesus. <laughs> is this some music for our lunch? Louise Pentland. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you put that on for our lunch. I was like, classical vibe. It's very nice, you. You didn't need to put some music on. I genuinely thought that was for us. Well, that would be quite nice. A nice bit of classical. Nice bit of classical. Do you want some sand sanitizer? Yes, what? please. Sand sanitizer? Hand sanitizer. I've been handling a lot of bargains. Yeah. Didn't expect to buy as much as we just did, but it's really, all really practical, good value. Stockpiling <laughs> vibe. Glass no, pumpkins. We've, we've done well. Pumpkin um, chocolate yeah. boards. Yeah, it's fine. No, we've got a little. Uh, we've got it all to feel like we've done is shop and eat. Shop and eat. We have bought some important cheese and onion and some options. Crisps. I'm just going to share a sandwich yeah. because I was greedy and I spied it. I'm actually going to wrap this vlog up, guys, because I was just going to hopefully buy nothing and I've bought a few things, so I'm going to do what I bought. A completely separate video. That's punchy, isn't it? That's well, literally like, God, that smells. We're gonna smell great cheesy. on the way home. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this. We're gonna eat some food and head back. But if you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do click subscribe and also head over to Ewan's channel as well because Ewan's also been vlogging and you're gonna film what you got as well. Yeah, do a, I think we'll do a separate haul too. You got good a bottle show. of wine. I'm very intrigued to how that's gonna turn mm. out. I got my Kylie. Kylie's in the boot. She's all good to go. But yeah, I really Just spinning around. <laughs> Get out of my <laughs> way. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Do stay tuned for the haul and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now. <laughs>